Hey y'all, this is Brady from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and a big welcome to any new ones. And like always, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for this project. You can also get that list on the community tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to be doing another Christmas video. I know it's July, but you know, Christmas in July. And I wanted to do this last year and I didn't get a chance to do it, so I... I'm gonna do it now and then also we're gonna do a little bonus craft this quick one so let's get to it all right y'all so for this project you're gonna need a sleigh a little wooden sleigh I got this from Dollar Tree last year you could probably check out maybe Hobby Lobby and see what they have or you could even try to make one yourself if you have um, popsicle sticks and stuff like that and pieces of wood you probably could make one so you're gonna need that you're gonna need paint now you could pick any color you want to but I decided to use gray which this is elephant by Waverly I thought it would really look nice and elegant and then you're gonna need some little Christmas figurine 3d pieces I got a snowman I got a penguin and of course I got a tree all this came from Dollar Tree I take that back I think these came from Dollar Tree but they could have came from Dollar General but you know what there is and then you're gonna need glue which I'm gonna use hot glue and paintbrush to paint the slide now I'm not guaranteeing anything this is just gonna be an extra you can either leave the rope on it or you could try and use some Christmas ribbon I'm thinking about trying the Christmas ribbon but we will see all right let's get to it okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the rope out because I don't want to get paint on it I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint my sled. So I'm just going to do it one base color, one just one color. And like I said, you don't have to do gray. I just thought it would look good. It'll make the rest of the stuff pop. I was debating between um, gray, black, and brown actually. I was doing darker colors to make the um, stuff we're going to put on it stand out more. So, just paint it completely. You don't want to leave any of the wood tone on it unless that's the color you want it to be. You can even just not paint it. But this is what I decided to go with. Now I will if you've watched some of my Christmas videos before, I'm pretty sure I told y'all I am a big fan of red and green on Christmas but I don't do too much of it like I said they're gonna be they're gonna have color on the figurines and I don't want to overdo it so I'm not gonna just put green and red on there just because it's Christmas I want to make sure they stand out Now there are different ways you can do this. I'm doing the 3D figures because I'm going to be doing a table de decor piece, but you can actually do it so that it's a wall hanger because it does come with string. 
And if you're going to do that, then you're probably going to want to use stickers or something on there or stencils instead of the 3D figures. <coughs> Excuse me. So, just keep in mind how you want to do it to decide what you're going to use. And I'm going to completely paint the whole thing. I'm not going to leave anything unpainted. If I can help it. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, like I always tell y'all, when you're doing this stuff, be creative and have fun. If you don't like the color choices I pick, you do not have to use those color choices. You can pick something completely different. I could have done a white sled, you know, just whatever you're feeling, a blue sled, you know, just whatever colors you like, that's what you want to do. Especially if this is going to be in your house because you're going to want it to fit your style. And I will definitely probably be doing another coat and spots just to make sure it's completely covered. As you can see, that's what it's going to look like. And I'll show it to you when it is done painted. Alright, so it's dry and I am happy with it. So we're going to move on to the next step and that's just gluing the figures <clears throat> excuse me, on here. It ain't got to be nothing perfect. You can do it however you want, but this is the way I want it. So we're going to do that. That simple. And I think it looks great. So the last thing we're going to do is we're either going to put the rope that came off of it back in there or we're going to do a ribbon. I'm going to try the ribbon and we'll see how that works. So I'm just figuring out how much I want to be there and I'm going to Go ahead and cut it and then we'll see if it works if it doesn't it's not a huge deal if I can get it in there <laughs> I just thought this would be a cool idea, something a little different, you know, not all the same. So. 
So I'm using some of my tools to see if I can get it to work. I am going to put some hot glue on the other end just to make sure it does not come out. much so I'm gonna trim it down and then I'm gonna add the hot glue so it doesn't go anywhere And it is literally finished. That simple. And you have a cute little decor piece you can put on your table and add a candle to or tea light candle or even just something else. You could have just to help decorate for Christmas. Alright. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try something. I gotta see how it looks. I might even repurpose some of this, like this red flower. But I got this from from Walmart after Christmas last year, and I thought the box was really, really, really cute. And I just want to take this out and redo it and see how it works. So let's try that and see where we get. Because there we go. That's what I want to do. Because I think I can make it look better. So. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to put some foam in here. I wish I had a bigger one, but this is what I have. And then we're just going to try to make it look good. I might have to end up going to get more um, floral from Dollar Tree. We will see. But I just wanted to make it really pretty like. Look like that. Either this is going to work or it's going to be an epic failure. But I'm going to try. Regardless. So, like I said, I like this flower, so I'm going to stick it in there, and we'll see how it works. I'm going to do the pine cone, because why not? And this is really pretty. I got this from Walmart. You know, just a little extra greenery. And we're going to go ahead and maybe stick these back in there. I don't like this. Let me see what else I have. I need to make these better. But I'll still do it. You know, just to give it a little something extra. And 
it's just whatever you feel you like, you know? I got an idea. Let me find them. They're here somewhere. I got so much junk out. Found them. So, I want to put something back here just so it, you know, fits together. It does a whole 365 look if you want. So, let me get my flower right. And then, just because I want to put and look at that I think it came out looking really cute and I like it a lot better than the floral that was in it and I really the reason why I like this box is because it reminds me of old school you know so there it is completely done you can also attach the um, floral foam into it but I don't have anything to do that right now so I'm just going to let it go because it's sticking up because I have enough weight balance on all sides but if I'm not careful you know it will tip but it's fine there's enough weight balancing it like I said so there is my little extra project I wanted to do because I absolutely love that box alright so that's it for today's projects I will show them to you again just so you can see what they are and I think they came out looking amazing and I'm happy with them and if you liked them please 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 like share subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow and it lets me know that you're liking these projects so I will see y'all next time bye